Jamie Stillings shares his interest in the forms created by man intersecting with nature. Did you know what you were looking for in these photographs before you started shooting? I got wind of the fact that this particular project, Ivan Paz Solar, would, when it was completed, become the world's largest concentrated solar thermal power plant. I thought that would inherently make an interesting project to watch from beginning to end. So my very first flight was actually over the site before real construction began. In, in many ways a blank slate or a blank canvas upon which the project would be built. In the process, when did you kind of start seeing a vision for what the end result would be? Quite early actually. As soon as they began to make marks on the ground, you began to see the initiation of a human uh, imposed geometry on a more organic landscape. From the very beginning that became quite interesting in part because the human element was also quite, quite managed, quite contained, quite precise. And uh, so the mixing of organic and geometric became interesting right away. In your work, there's this intersection of man's hand in nature. And uh, is that precisely what you were looking for and how, to, how that manifests itself as, as far as the visuals? Nature in its purest form has always been in my psyche and in my, in my visual uh, vocabulary. Photographically, though, I've always found the, the intersection of human activity and nature to be the most compelling for me. process and seeing this whole thing kind of come together over time, what for you is the most interesting piece about watching man work, watching man move nature? I think there are visual components and then the thought process involved with how we use land and resources. Visually, I never know exactly what I'm going to encounter. And so there's a sense of, of discovery there's a sense of expectation there. And then I need to, within a relatively short period of time, define what it is that makes that particular point in the evolution of the project interesting. From that point, I need to kind of let go and be an artist and look. Typically, with this site, they're both the, the geometric component, the, the, in, the, in this case the dominant thing, is really the installation of heliostats or mirrors into the landscape that will then concentrate power towards three towers. But it's also where that boundary uh, of, the, of the natural alluvial erosion patterns, the natural scrub of the desert, intersects uh, the boundary of this property. Does that impact people when they're looking at this project, when they're looking at solar energy? Do they think differently about it because of how beautifully it's photographed? The reality for me is that uh, the very oblique light of uh, just after sunrise and just before sunset allows one to see the texture of the desert and understand its contours and therefore understand more clearly other marks of man uh, that, uh, that we've imposed upon the land before this project, as well as see this project more clearly. But I also want them to gain information. What is this project really? 
and then to begin to ask a layer of questions about what that means. What do you want people to think or take away from your photos when they see them? One of the delights about photographing a project over time is somebody might instinctively ask a question about early photographs that will be answered by later photographs. On the informational side, we rarely, as most of us, rarely have the opportunity to be up in the air over things. So here's an opportunity to really look at the land intently. So what I want people to do then is to think about these marks we make on the land. Think about the uses we are putting this land to. That in the case of this project being a particular renewable energy project. But we do other things as well. We're strip mining coal, we're drilling for oil, we're building uh, super stores, we're building new subdivisions, we're building new highways all the time. We're making huge choices that have tremendous impact on how we are shepherding our use of the planet as the dominant species on it right now. So I wanted to give people information. I want them to ask questions. I want there to be a dissonance in their responses, mm. that they can have positive responses and questions or discomforts at the same time. And that's, I think, appropriate. That is healthy. That's the nature of most decisions that we make. What do you hope people take to that conversation about farming energy from our planet and what that, how that looks and what that means? We've spent, most of us, have spent our lives with the sources of our energy being invisible to us. With renewable energy and putting it much closer to the source of use, we are going to begin to see the, where our energy comes from, whether it's a wind farm, whether it's a solar farm that is concentrated solar thermal, or whether it's photovoltaic, we're going to begin to see from whence our energy comes. What impact do you hope your imagery has in, uh, in helping us see it? I hope that if we look a decade out, or 50 years, or 100 years out, that these photographs may help us see this time in our civilization where we began to understand the importance of building renewable energy sources, of moving towards a more sustainable model, and that this will give us information, it will show us stepping stones in the process, process that hopefully we will have taken uh, in that time.